Hello guys and guys, and welcome back to another tutorial here on Tutorial Tuesday. It's been a while since I've made one of these episodes, so I really want to get back into making tutorials for you guys because I love doing it. Um, but anyways, I've got kind of a short tip for you guys. Um, I might upload a tutorial on Thursday just so I can get two out this week since this will be kind of a short tutorial. Um, but I want to show you guys about a um, sort of thing that I figured out just a little bit ago, and it's so, so useful. So I thought I'd share it with you guys, and that is... Um, the uh, transparency or alpha of any layer to uh, make a mask for you and it's so so useful and I wish I had known about it earlier um, I know I didn't know about it when I did uh, last tutorial on um, filling up a bucket um, the bucket filling animation in uh, After Effects it would have helped so much and I wish I had known it back then but anyways um, basically uh, basically you uh, you make a composition I just have main comp 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second uh, you know the usual deal um, uh, by the way, I'm really excited about 60 frames per second on YouTube being a thing, but anyways, with that said, you can go drop in an item with a transparency. If there is a black background on one of your layers, um, such as this one, and there should be a transparent background behind it, you can actually key it out using the color key. Um, I know I got so, so, so many, um, comments saying that there wasn't on their layer, but, um, you can actually go ahead and do a color key, um, Yep, you just drop it on there and then you pick what color you want to make transparent and you fiddle around with the tolerance and thinning and feathering of the edge and uh, you can get rid of whatever black background is there, but that's besides the point. Um, basically, I'm going to turn to draft mode just so I can get those hard edges because it is um, a pixelated um, image and uh, if I don't, it'll look, uh, it'll look a little bit blurry. So. Anyways, once we do that, it's actually really simple. All you do, you go to layer and then auto trace right here. And basically what you'll do is you'll click current frame. You want to select your alpha channel because uh, alpha is transparency. It's another word for transparency. And you want to make your mask from the transparency of this image. Um, you can add blur if you want. I will not. Um, tolerance one pixel. Uh, all this should be... Uh, fairly fairly standard we can go ahead and preview it here and it's going to kind of show you a rough preview of what the mask will look like um, you can kind of mess around with the tolerance and stuff from there and you'll see a live update and stuff but that should be fine oh the the tolerance went way up all right so i put mine down to 0 0.1 and it looks pretty solid threshold i might want to bring down just a little oh that was too much threshold um with the 10 and you want to fiddle around with it until you get a nice, nice solid color around your object. And you go ahead and click OK. And you'll see it makes the mask perfectly around the item without me having to do a lick of work. And it is so, so useful. And from here, you can do a whole bunch of crazy effects. Let me just uh, turn on my black background here so we can kind of see what's going on. See how it traces it out? And um, basically, if you needed a mask done, that's a quick and dirty way to do it. Um, really, really simple, and it does it really efficiently. Um, a good example of how you would use this is um, someone commented on my videos and said, hey, on Dartron's video, how did you get the, um, how, d how did you get the um, coal to outline itself? And to which I responded, um, well, I didn't respond, but here's my response right here. Um, you get the stroke effect. You get the generate stroke, should have a little, what looks like a Lego with an eight on it right next to it. And you go ahead and add that and you'll see it adds a, a stroke on it and you can actually outline this a good way of outlining if you don't want to use layer styles, which is actually, um, oop, hint to my next tutorial, probably later this week. Um, but what you can do is you can select the mask that we just made, which was mask one. That is the one that we generated around it. And uh, you can go ahead and add uh, start and end, oop, that's opacity. Um, start and end and then what you can do is that you can actually animate the line going around it so that's really really cool um, and uh, I think what I end up doing was adding spacing let me uh, let me go check it out I haven't used this effect in a while so I'll go out here and I'll play with uh, some of the stuff so if you add spacing you actually see that it makes like what looks like dots around it you can bring out the brush size and you'll see it makes like uh, like little dots which is exactly what I did on Dartron's video um, it is a little bit pixelated because uh, because I did the draft quality on it. But if you want to upscale it in like Photoshop and something, and then not set it to draft, um, you can do that as well. Um, but right now it's going to look a little bit blurry just because I upscaled it here in After Effects. But um, there you have it. You can animate 
the uh, start, so I pretty much just uh, clicked keyframe on start, went ahead a few um, frames, and then I finished it up. So if I ramp preview that, you'll see that the dots go around, and then I just did a I just did a screen pump to make it look like it was bursting right after it filled. Might even want to bring those in a little bit. So that's uh, that's a real quick and awesome uh, feature of After Effects that I just uh, that I just found out uh, a little bit ago. So it goes to show you, you learn new things even well after two years of using After Effects, and uh, it's really handy. I really like it. Hopefully, you guys use this a lot. Um, it helps me in my everyday workflow so so much. So uh, make sure you show this video some love. Make sure to uh, smack that like button, like button, and uh, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next Tutorial Tuesday. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace out.